Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The Australian Solar Energy Society has called on the government to provide security to the industry after Solar Shop Australia went into receivership this month. With 3,700 solar jobs already lost in New South Wales alone, the society says it is time for the government to act. The society says the industry isn't looking for a handout, just appropriate legislation in all states to ensure a fair price is paid for solar-generated electricity fed back into the grid. Feed-in tariffs are a way to ensure a fair price and can reduce electricity demand, lower electricity prices and defer infrastructure spending. Australian companies Solar Sailor and Forgax Engineering recently announced an agreement to build wind and solar-powered unmanned ocean vessels. According to the Solar Sailor's CEO Robert Dane, while most other UOVs are limited in the amount of time they can be deployed, the Solar Sailor offers unlimited time at sea. Navies and Coast Guards can use the technology to cost-effectively monitor military operations and border protection from a shore base without risk to crew safety. The European Photovoltaic Industry Association has conducted a study which has found that solar will become cost-competitive with fossil fuels across Europe by the end of this decade. According to the Association President Ingmar Wilhelm, the rising cost of fossil fuels will continue to put downward pressure on PV prices. So far, progressive European feed-in tariffs have provided the necessary financial buffer to allow PV to compete with conventional energy. The report concludes that while regulatory and market support mechanisms such as feed-in tariffs must continue, as parity gets closer, these schemes can be phased out. Solar panel manufacturer REC has announced an enhancement to its product warranties, applying to modules sold as of the beginning of September. Each REC solar panel is now guaranteed to provide at least 97% effective output during its first year of operation. A minimum performance level of 80.2% is guaranteed by the end of the 25th year of operation. The announcement comes as REC was for the second year in a row named the winner of the 2011 Solar Industry Award for Silicon Innovation issued by the Solar Industry Magazine. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.